Hi, I'm Twitch streamer Kona Cat, and today we are going to check out the Castles of Burgundy Special Edition. This is a big, big box. <laughs> big box of fun. Um, if you are a novice gamer or you are a seasoned gamer, this game is for you. <laughs> if you enjoy rolling dice, setting up territories, the game is fun, the gameplay is fun. Um, it, I'm going to show you a easy simple setup to get you running and going if you haven't played before or if you need a refresher um, won't take too long i promise i'll make it easy on you <laughs> so you can just play and enjoy this beautiful beautiful special edition game i'm going to show you a simple setup for a two-player game for the castles of burgundy special edition um, i did get the upgraded miniature castles that you see here that take over for the castle tiles here and i also got the victory markers here um and these replace uh these cardboard ones here um we're gonna put our two players in between the one and 100 here so they're not really on the track yet and let's look at the main board to set up first and then i will do our individual player boards um first off things that need to be by the board we need our money uh that's going to be by the board our worker tiles need to be by the board um the ship tiles um need to be in a stack by the board. And if you notice, all the ship tiles will be blue. Um, if any of them are black, they need to go in this black bag here. Um, the mine tiles are gray and they have a gray back. These need to be by the board and your castle tiles need to be by the board. They have a red back or your castle miniatures need to be by the board. <laughs> um, so uh, the goods tiles, these are all the goods. Um, that we have lots of these. We're gonna make five stacks of five and we are gonna place them on each uh, round and phase that shows here. So A, B, C, D, and E, those are the phases for the game. And then there's five rounds in each game. So this, uh, these are going to be on top of the letters here to represent where we're at in the game. So we're going to move these over and place those on top. Um, if you also notice turn order, we are going to roll to see who, what turn order every player has. Um, this is the turn order track here. And whoever rolls for the first player is going to be on top. Second player would go underneath. If you played with four players, three and four would go underneath. And the turn order is from top to bottom. And they would be on this first track here. Um, if you notice, we also have the bonus tiles here. Um, there's a lower number set and a higher number. The higher number is going to go on top. And in its coordinating spot here. They're all color coordinated. So yellow's there. Red goes here. Black, blue, and green. And then um, we are going to set up the main board here. This middle tile is for expansion that we are not going to set up for. We're doing a basic game here. Um, so we're, let's go ahead and pull these colors for our tiles to set up our board. If you notice, they all have colors here. So we are just pulling yellows to put on top of yellows. And if you notice, uh, you're gonna punch all these out <laughs> and the backs are all yellow. So you wanna stick with all yellows in the yellow and you're gonna pull and place them on the board where the yellow is. And so we're gonna put this. I may have left a castle out here because I was excited. Uh, red goes where the red is. <laughs> So we're putting Mr. Castle out this way. Let's go ahead and grab some beige and get the beige out here. Um, we got a few more for beige. Let's get these set up. And let's see, one more up in this top corner. Okay, and beige also, if you can see, oh, I got one in the wrong spot. So this is why the back. So the front is beige, the back is black. The black ones do need to go in the black bag. So we're gonna put him back over there. I was using that as an example. That was pretty good. So you wanna make sure all the beige ones have beige black backs for the bag. Uh, let's go ahead and get the green going. Green are our farmlands. Let's see, we got some cows today. We'll make sure it's green on the back. <laughs> we got some cows. And we got one more green to place up here. Oh, we definitely got green there. And we got some goats, cows and goats today. There we go. And then uh, the blue spots are the ship spots. So let's put these out here. I will triple check now. <laughs> um, and then we have our mine tiles here. The mine goes on the gray spot. And then the black bag. It goes in the middle so all of these should have black backs and again uh the fronts of the tiles have a little black spot here to help you denote that that is supposed to be in the black bag but also the back is black so 
let's pull some for the middle here and we'll make sure yeah <laughs> all right one more and then one more and we have our main board ready to go uh, for our individual players we're gonna have purple be the first player um, every player is gonna have one start off with one coin um, we're gonna put that in the money spot here each player has their set of dice um, first player will get one worker token the second player would get two if you played a four player game third would get three fourth would get four um, that goes here and then each player also will draw three of the goods tiles and if you notice i have two of the same numbers they will stack when you place them in their spot right here and then we every player will also grab uh, a castle to start off um, I'm going to put mine in the middle there because that's just a good smart spot to put them and we everybody gets a helper sheet here that goes over all the tiles uh the turn order the actions overview and what everything does um the first player will also get the white die to start and i believe we are ready to play now that i have the game set up i'm going to give you a brief overview on how to play the game and the actions available on a player's turn each game is played in five phases with five rounds in each phase. So remember when we place the tiles on each phase letter here, we're gonna take those tiles for our first phase, place them down here, and these are going to represent our uh, each round we play and kind of give you an idea where we're at in the game. So we're gonna place those here. The, um, the basic play of the game game players are going to be rolling their dice using their dice to use those numbers to gather tiles out here and to place tiles on their personal board um the tiles can give you victory points they can give you advantages in the game they can give you money they can give you uh, uh advances on the turn order track here uh, they can give you the ability to place another tile without using another die. There's all sorts of stuff, and all of those are on your helper sheet. They'll tell you what every every tile does for you when they show up. So this is a very handy thing to keep. Um, also goes through your action overview here. And so to get us started for our first round, purple is going to roll the white die. White die goes here. And we have a five. So we're gonna take our first spot on our round and place this on the five spot here. So that is our depot, that is the good available. Um, and then all players are going to roll their die at the same time. And then we're gonna place them here. And the first player gets to choose what they're gonna do on their turn first. So on your turn, you can use your die to grab a tile from out here you can use your die to place a tile here um, you can use your die to sell your goods and get some money um, you can also turn in a die to get a worker uh, and workers let you uh, go up or down by one number on your die so these are unlimited so if you want to go up three points on your die turn in three of these and you can go up three numbers or down three numbers if you had a six you can go to one um and if you have a one you can go to six uh so let's see for our purple player we have a five and a four that is a very handy roll because we really want this ship i like the ship you can only place um uh, tiles touching another tile so i'm limited to placing around this our, our castle that we have in the middle, um, our starter castle. So I'm gonna use the four, and this is our use spot, uh, to grab this one, and I have to place it here. You are limited to storing uh, three tiles. Um, after that, you cannot take any more tiles. You would be forced to discard, and that counts as one of your actions. So don't do that. <laughs> You're limited on actions. Uh, plan accordingly make sure you have what you need in here and that you're not wasting you're not wasting an action on discarding a tile so you can make room for other tiles um and then uh so i'm going to use this five to place the blue tile when i place the blue tile depending on what action it lets me do um i can do that action now so when i place the blue tile blue tiles let you take all goods from one depot or advance one and advance one space on the turn order track. So we are going to place him here, move up on the turn order track. We only have one spot we can take 
uh, goods from. So we're taking that, placing it in our little stack here. Um, and at any point during your turn, you can trade in and spend two coins to purchase one of these uh, tiles out in the middle. Uh, you're not limited there either. As long as you have the space to place them here, you can uh, buy those tiles and as long as you have the money. So then player two would then take their dice and choose their turn here. And then we would reset and start round two. So round two again, you're going to roll the white die. We're gonna take this number and put it in the sixth spot. And then purple, everybody would roll their dice again. We have a six and a five. And purple player would get to choose what they want now. So purple is going to, let's see, purple is going to grab the mine. The mine's a nice one to have one. It only takes three to fill in. It also gives you one silver, uh, one silver coin at the end of each phase. So at the end of each phase, you would get uh, money if it's placed in here. So we're gonna store that one. We're using our five. Uh, we have six, and I think we're just going to use our six to grab uh, some this beige one. Um, this is uh, lets you place an additional hex tile. This is a very nice one. If you notice on here, this is the town hall. So this one lets you place. So if I place this one, I get to place a second one for free. Um, very handy to have. So we're going to store him, and that would be Purple's turn as well. So we're going to play this out until we get to the end of the round so you can see what happens when we get to the uh, end of the phase. Uh, so we have a three here. Um, we would put this on the three spot. Um, we roll these, we've got a one and a six. And let's see, we, <laughs> let's, grab, let's grab this ship for the one. And we're running out of spots. <laughs> um, let's use the six to sell our sixes here. Um, so when we sell, uh, we only get one coin regardless of how many are uh, how many goods we actually have of that number. So uh, I get one coin for these. I get one coin if there's one. There are tiles that give you extra coins for selling. I don't have that tile in my map right now. So uh, these get sold and we would get one coin here. And then we would move on. Player two would have their turn. We're gonna just run this out real fast so you can kind of see. Uh, we got the one. One is gonna go on the one. Purple's gonna play again. We got a five and a one. And let's use um, let's use our our worker here uh, to change our uh, five to a four. So this is gonna be a four and we're gonna place our mine here. And then let's use our, let's turn in our uh, die here to gain a worker. You can always turn in a die to gain a worker uh, as part of your action. Um, and then one more round to go and we will be at the end. They're gonna roll, we got a five. This will go in the five. Everybody rolls, we got a six and a three. Let's see, let's use our, you know what? Let's use the three. We're gonna use our town hall since our town hall lets us place an additional hex tile. So we're gonna place the that on the three here. And then we get to place this guy for free. That also lets us uh, move up the track, the turn order track. And we get to take a, a good from a depot. We're gonna take the one. And then now we're at the end of the round, completely, Oh, end of the phase. We're at the end of the phase here. So we are going to remove all the hexagon tiles from the board. The good, the good stay, but all the hexagon tiles are removed. Um, although this one can stay because we're just going to keep that one there. Um, it's not going anywhere. Um, and all the tiles from the middle, uh, these go back in the box. They do not go back in the bags. We're going to replenish all the tiles that are out here with new ones. So let's get that set up. Got yellow, we got some beige. And again, all the tiles stay what they do on the back. So uh, they give you all the information you need. They're very, very good. Like this one, end game score, four for each uh, white castle in your, um, 
in your map. Um, do we have any more beige? Beige up here. Okay. And then let's get a couple green. Oh, we got sheep. You know I love sheep. All right, then we're going to add some more ships here. We're going to add another mine out here. If I can get to it without knocking everything over. <laughs> we're going to get some black ones here out in the middle for sale. We got pigs this time. <laughs> and we are ready, almost ready for phase B. We are going to put the goods out back out here and then we are ready for phase b and this plays we play this through until the very end uh, the game ends when the fifth phase phase e has been completed so all players have taken their turns uh final scoring commences and each player receives a number of additional victory points for their leftover game components for each unsold good tile you would get one point for each silver coin you would get one point for every two workers, you would get one point. And each placed yellow monastery, I think they are numbered here, uh, 11 and 12, will also get you victory points. And the player with the most victory points wins. If there is a tie, uh, the player with the fewest unused spaces on their, on their board uh, will win. And if there is still a tie, the tied player who's furthest behind on the turn order track is the winner so there you have it that is a brief overview of how to play get this game going have some fun um i promise it is a fun fun game to play if you're nervous about it just do it just do it find a friend who has it um or get it yourself and have some fun with it i promise you will not be disappointed and that is a simple setup for a two-player game for Castles of Burgundy and how to play. Uh, this is a huge game. It does have a lot of expansions to it. If you want to keep it simple, stick with the basic game. If you want to add a challenge, start adding expansions in to change up the maps. Um, I really hope you give this game a try, and I will see you next time for the next game. Bye!